Hello and welcome to another episode of Malt Magical More, where I think it's safe to say we probably made some poor choices, but we've got to live with them now. It's Malt Magical More. What's really nice about doing hey, the oh. intro is um, I can uh, see how shiny uh, my head was from the sweating that I've been doing during this episode. So that was nice. Mm -hmm. So I just realised right, I've got the shadow from my mic, which makes it look like I've got this massive wet patch on my shirt. <laughs> I have got a massive wet patch on my shirt because this room is red up. <laughs> it's not as bad as the Did wet patch in my pants. That last, that, those last forty-five minutes, Matt. That was intense, man. I, do you know what? I was expecting roll initiative every time we moved or did anything. <laughs> especially, when I, especially when I touched the skeleton or put it on my head. I really, really thought as soon as I put that on my head, I'm going to have like a, you know, montage, monologue moment and fuck all happened. Because I just ex expect so, anything to happen. So we have to stop the eleven from getting the sword, right? Well, uh, I can't believe I you actually yeah. touched it. You did it. You did an ander. That shocked me, actually. I, it's the sort of thing I expected I was, Ander to do. Yeah, but I, no, I was expecting Ander not to do it because I was like, he's he's still PTSD'd about the other one. So like, someone's yeah. gonna have to do yeah, it, and yeah, I'd fair. rather, I'd rather it's me because I've got plus nine to wisdom saving throws. So. <sighs> What was there the DC enough. save? Would, was we, other than a natural 20, always going to fail that? It's probably like a 25 um, or something stupid. <laughs> so on the wisdom save for the sword, that was a DC 30. Oh, okay. Fucking hell. So on the, on the yeah. natural 20. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, the DC for the um, fire damage, as in the dexterity save, was a 25. <sighs> so you weren't far off, but you still failed. Natural I'm not twenty be again, though. About fucking pulled that out of the bag. So <laughs> maybe like three rolls. All I'll today. say is, Danny, literally all of your rolls on Monday <laughs> were twenty plus. Yeah, pretty much. I don't think you rolled anything lower than twenty. That's a proper well, rogue, though. You asked me to. Do, you asked me to do acrobatics plus twelve, deception plus eleven, nature plus ten. Yeah, and, and then also you've got Jack. Man. Yeah, and then you've got yeah Jack, Jack of all trades. So perception plus and that eight. cheeky perception check I asked you for off off screen. Yeah, and that's when <laughs> I was drawn to the thing because Matt was like, "Make a perception check," and I rolled a twenty six, and then he was like, "You're drawn to a fake presence in the centre of the room." <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, I, 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 I was going through. You know, is that we were like, "Hang on a minute," you had a vision about your your parents, your dad. Uh, in a throne yeah, room. I thought I thought this was it. I thought this was the room. Yeah, I, thought, I, thought, I thought the same. Uh, and and and, and uh, who's to say it's not yet? But it's a bit well, odd I in the fact that we got Fey and human, and I'm like, I'm I'm a little unsure. But you know, it's still something funky about it. Well, actually, we haven't investigated the other bodies in the room, but him on the throne was certainly not a human, so he can't be in the dad. Okay, um, but you have a lot of connection to the Fae, so I'm I'm not ruling I've it already, out. I've already I have asked the Dryad off camera when we were shagging in the tree. Matt, let me have a couple of questions, and um, and one of the questions some, some I had was, talk, am, was I, it? "Am I part Fae?" And the answer was no. So I wondered whether I had okay. a Fae dad or a Fae mum. So I'm just mm. Fae touched rather than actually Fae. That's a little bit. Um, well, that's a good point. Actually, yeah. does the Eladrin want the sword? And I feel I felt bad. I think he's. I think he's here for the sword. When you said, I think he's here for the sword. Still have a mouth. I was like, oh shit, that would have been a really good idea. Right. <laughs> I think I think somehow did that deliberately though, because he didn't actually have the spell prepared. I didn't have the spell, but I was like, oh, we can take the skull. But also, I at that point, I was like, I was rereading <laughs> the actual spell, and it said the corpse still needs to have a mouth. I was like, oh, well, that's got. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, 
Just to confirm, it was the Aladrin who showed up, not the Fiend. Well, we don't know, do we? That's what we're assuming. Well, Piercing red eyes, I'd like leather armor. Yeah. Who's the Aladrin, yeah. Here he is, look. Prick. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I, definitely, I, definitely, I definitely think he's here for the sword, because otherwise, like, why would he be here? Like, because we're there. Unless Unless uh, no, I, I, because he could have come there. back anyway. He could have come back any time. No, maybe he doesn't know where it is. Oh shit! Until because we dispelled it. Oh, yep. oh cock and balls. <laughs> <laughs> yep, <laughs> that was literally oh. my thought. Like during after the episode ended and before we started recording this, obviously, which literally, was like, I oh, think just went. <laughs> because because I kept thinking whilst we were in there, I was like. Why? Why the hell was an anti magic field here? And obviously, like, then I was like, oh, it's because of the sword. But why the sword? And then, yeah, Is now that the Aladdin the appeared, it was like, oh, oh, do you know maybe. what? I was looking through my notes. Yes, one of the artifacts. Because I was looking through, and we were talking about the silver, the silver bands. No, the what was it? The silver braces things, or something. Though, aren't they? The artifacts said twelve good things by the good nobody guys. Nobody ever said. Nobody ever said all the artifacts were good things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we just made the assumption that they were they were twelve of the twelve good gods, but not that they were twelve good things. And even that is an assumption that those twelve. And we also didn't talk about whether they're going to be artifacts from other other bad deities. Deities, yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't for mean sure. it's not a weapon for good either. Yeah, I mean, you know, I do some serious, you know, damage with Timiel's wrath to fiends, so it could just be that this is a very powerful weapon. Oh, but yeah, that, but, that's, yeah, but that's also, my theory. And also, my we got we, we got the one one word of run. Yeah, which means we're definitely going to have yeah, scrap next week, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> How? Um, I'm definitely going to try and shoot him with my bow and arrow because Matt told me I don't need to attune to it, so I'm getting it straight out, mate. <laughs> Arrows a face lane would have been good. I might wish for them. <laughs> they would have been I good. I could just—he's yeah. in front of me. I can wish something upon him next week. You can. Oh, we let's not talk about my wish again for the next twenty-five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> let's not do another MQ <laughs> of, of wishing because there wish, was a lot in that episode. Wish power there was a kill. lot. Sorry, a lot yes. of reveals. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, so yeah, uh, Grellen—he's an awesome ranger dude. Horizon Walker. Horizon Walker. Yeah, I very much enjoyed that class ad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're awesome. Um, it's really yeah. cool. Do you like, feel it bad makes, makes... that we left Greenflower to die? Do now. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. We've done we've done so many like morally ambiguous things at this point. It's like, yeah, well. and, and bearing in <laughs> mind you've got more powerful since then. There was a lot That's of undead true. facing you when you were there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I tell you what and if I remember to back to those episodes, actually, I think Grellan did tell you to run as well. Yeah. Yeah, so, what, yeah. so that little 10 year old needs to shut up. Right, so. What we do need to dig into is your theory that the Stillman actually sabotaged the boat when he built it. Dude. Because no, he's don't. always been a prick. Has he, is he being a prick because he's been under the influence of. Actually, what's the timeline of you giving her? Yeah, the, the only the only thing I need to figure out is that the only thing we need to figure out is the timeline because obviously, like, it happened on our way back. I just can't remember how long because there's a period of time where obviously we went in real life like a month and a half in like a a, a game day. Um, yeah. So I can't actually remember like. I, need, I just need to go back, essentially, when we had the Yeah, but basically, the there's, a, there's a very good chance that you gave them the sword at the start of the two-week period where we waited, right, uh, for it to be built, because that was the whole two weeks of waiting. If you did that at the start of that, then it would have had two weeks for it to take hold, sabotage it before we left. And then, Damn, 24, yeah, then, and then 24 hours later, 24 did, hours yeah. later, on the way back, it would have blown up. Yep. Because literally, like, because we were having the conversation with, um, with, so I can't remember the name of the Arthorg, um, and then the dude from, 
the the ship came by, and I was like, "Oh yeah, what happened to the ship?" And I was like, "Oh," where? and then I was like, "Oh, I'm sure that, like the, the the Stillman can do something about it." And then I remembered that it was obviously Stillman, and I was like, "Oh," and you want to know the even fucking like weirdest theory I have that the Stillman is a green dragonborn, and we fought a, a green dragon on our way there. So he could be pitching us because we killed his cousin. <laughs> ah, I don't know. <laughs> is he still the green dragonborn? He is, yeah. Fuck. This is the type I of shit that I've been, I've, I've, uh, yeah, I've been trying to make up my yeah. notes and I just haven't been able to. I've been fucking parading around in green dragon armor the whole time and I'm on my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's why. Like, that's why. That's why there's a moment in the episode where I would go, hang on, and I just start going through my notes, like the description of the of the Mort Masters, and I just see Stillman, Dragonborn, Green. I was like, well, shit. Right, <laughs> hang on a minute. Stillman, Dragonborn, <laughs> Green. Um, yeah. Cooper, Half Orc. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Paladin. I think we yeah. made the assumption. Paladin or Fighter. Me yeah. too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've got a, we've got a, 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 we've got a wizard in there somewhere. The yeah, still yeah, the wizard. A, a wizard. Oh, the distiller. Yeah, distiller. Yeah. Sorry. The distiller. The distiller. Is the elf wizard, and then the blender is a tiefling. Who, lo who yeah. lo lost her husband to the Isle of the Dead, and we know that we've seen that husband. What class is the stillman? He's probably not fisher. That's it. Yeah. Very likely. Tinkers were shit. Yeah. 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 Very likely. But taken over by the sword. I need to write all these down before I forget again. They're so far back in the notebook, I need to write them every like 10 pages so they're there. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I, I use OneNote now. I've I've yeah. moved away from my notebook because OneNote just means I can flick from page to page. Also, da 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 it's Danny, like Danny, Danny look, look, look top right. It says 12 minutes in. Just remember that and come back to it tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what I'll do, I'll write down in my book to go back to watch it. <laughs> yeah. Just 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 twelve minutes in. That's all you need to remember. <laughs> I'm leaving myself with the Vinci code of clues. Yeah. Well. Vinci code of clues. We'll suddenly oh, find man. the Fibonacci yeah. sequence Shoot. in the number of deaths by the dark Eladrin. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Um I really yeah, wish I mean, we'd have asked the Eladrin about the the Eladrin King about the prophecy. But that's only because, and I, like, I can't keep anything secret. But okay, right. Go on. What that does make me laugh is that that whole character trope there is that you're a rogue, like thief, stealer of everything, can't keep a secret for shit. Just keeps telling everyone. It's everything. brilliant. It is so <laughs> yeah, so brilliant good. for the game. I love it's it. So it is so good. <laughs> but he's he's also a bard, so he likes to spin a yarn, doesn't he? So he's, yeah. No, there is even that. stuff like, yeah. even stuff like, what happened to the body? Like, you don't, you can just say, you know, well, whatever, we just, you know, buried it or something. It's like, no, we're just <laughs> the full, like walking around with it. <laughs> it's like, oh, no, and the, <laughs> oh, please. Just so brutally honest. I can't wait till if we get to the end of this campaign to see Ander as a ruler. It's like, if if that's what happens, just to see Ander with a crown oh, on his man. head and how he deals with everybody. The reason why that we no, want to join busy. your, you know, our, our two wonderful reigns together is we think that your daughter is hot. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry, did I say that out loud? No, I can't and I already got her pregnant. Wives. Yeah. <laughs> I could have a dryad queen, and then I'll unite the lands and the Feywild together through our. There you go. Oh, I mean, as, with, as, um, one of the things is, is, you know. Understandably, Dargon wasn't gonna, you know, go in, go in and and do much chatting. But it's one of those things of could we not gain their aid? Because right, but we we initially went in to the vampires and they said, well, you know, they'd bugger off if we sorted out the rift to their world and the problem that was there. We could have said, actually, guys, we'll help you not get, you know, these people constantly coming in. And you can be at peace if we stop the rift, which we think is from, you know, the magic shit going on in Nylin. So can you help us do that? And then you will be free of all this shit coming into your, your city. 
Mm. But again, we were just like, let's just get out, let's just get the hell out of here. So I, I did sow the seeds for an alliance, though. Yeah. I think that's why I wanted to make sure I went back into the Aladrin Kingdom, not only to try and get a core cool weapon, that was my main aim, I'm not going to lie, but also to <laughs> to try and show some decorum, and so he'd sort of see me as a as a peer, almost. Yeah. Or at least yeah, we definitely, we definitely We definitely left on good terms, so... Yeah, we at least left no, on good terms, and at, at, at least it was one of the few places where, you know, they weren't in, immediately pissed with us. Yeah, it's and unusual it nice. for us to yeah. leave it. It was nice to actually not have to make a blood oath this week. That seems to the week. Hey, yeah, that's good. So that's, that's just another character trait for Ander. He's going to bind himself to as many people as possible. Yeah. Not always. That's why I end up with four ex-wives. Hey. I, uh, <laughs> but I did. I did worry that if I told them about or asked him about the prophecy he'd be like why do you want to know about the prophecy and then he'd figure mm. out what my bloodline is because the dryad said there's either an un, an unspent oath that or he'd try and reclaim the promises my dad had made or whatever so i didn't want to go down that path but it probably will happen at some point i'll have to reveal myself to him i think at some point yeah yeah we just not need to a, know a little bit like more an anorak. So we seem to need to know more about the hey, prophecy. Hey, Alliance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do, with and without knowing what we were told by Tim AL, because I haven't said it yet in game, what does each character want to do? Kill him. Yeah. What? Like, now? Yeah, the second we get back into game. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously Kirik hasn't told stuff, but he's very much going to try to prevent this guy from getting the sword if that's what it looks like he wants. Because, right, like, out of game, he probably wants this sword to take to his, to, to his daddy, you know? Yeah. His daddy he's another daddy. Hmm. Yeah. But again, is it one so of those? He, you all took that dirty. I had a Halo flashback of I would have been your daddy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was going for Hamburg German sex dungeon. That's what I was going for. But yeah, I'm are we... That's about right. I I kind of feel like it's going to be one, maybe two rounds in where we're going to go. Yeah, Fuck. we better run. What, hang on, what level yeah, were we last time yeah. we fought him in Ironforge? What were we, level 8? 8, I think, yeah. I had, I think I had one, maybe two fourth level spell slots, so yeah, probably 8. And we came out of that not 100%. We are very yeah. much not 100% at the moment. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I still have a fifth, a fourth, and a third level spell slots, and then can we, we all can my yes, but first. you're also at half health. I'm at half health. Yeah, that was that was really bad. That was a really yeah. bad move. Yeah. So I've got poison. Oh yeah, just go. Poison. Oh here, mate, I have a health potion. <laughs> what does potion of heroism yeah. do? Uh, you get blessed oh, for an hour. It's really good. Actually, yeah. it's bloody it's brilliant. Good. 10 temporary hit really points good. for an hour under the effect of the bless spell. Is that where I can no, bless spell 1d4. is 1d4. 1d4 to attacks and saves. Attacks and yeah. saves and it's no concentration required because it's a potion. So good. So good. Because bless is, is one of those ones that is it's, it's sort of OP but not hour. because because obviously if you you know if the person who cast it on you gets hit they lose a the concentration you lose it. So it, it is. It, it never lasts a whole fight, sort of thing. Whereas that right, one I'm would. Have a potion and that's of amazing. Heroism enema while shooting my bow and arrow at him. That's my plan. <laughs> you, you know, you pop the cork, put it in your mouth, and just like. Whilst dipping my arrow yeah, in the I mean, poison jug. Yeah. <laughs> this, yeah Using I mean, your action, a... bonus action, movement, and everything else just to try and do it. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh god, can you imagine? Can you? Sorry, can you imagine a rogue with rogue fighter who has a who has an action surge as well? You know, just. <laughs> and, and a sneak and, attack. And boots of haste. You know, can you just imagine all of that put together? It'd just be utterly ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, DM needs control of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Matt you know, will kill him yeah. off pretty quick. <laughs> yeah, 120 yeah. feet like, got, movement and just yeah, like, and an excellent like, oh. I mean, no feet. <laughs> I mean, in the, in, in the, uh, in the, Till now campaign, I realized the other day that if the monk gets hasted, he can move 500 feet in one turn. Whoa! Whoa! Don't tell him that. Uh, yeah, he he was the one messaging me, being like, oh, by the way, if this <laughs> happens. <laughs> I was like, well, yeah, true. You got it there. I did see. I also, um... told, him, I also oh. told him if he like uses every, like, because he needs to use like action bonus action uh, to move plus his movement, plus feline agility. So if he does that, I said, at the end, you're going to roll a dexterity saving throw to see if he can stop, <laughs> because you're basically <laughs> the flash. You're basically the flash when he gets the powers, <laughs> is... and he just, like, bashes against everything. <laughs> it's like, yeah. I say, that, um, is, that is literally, like, light speed. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things that... Um, well, right, 500 uh, feet a second is... is that the, what is the speed of light? Is that the speed of light? Well, no, it's, no, it's 500, well, 500, 500 feet, feet, feet over six, six seconds. seconds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But it's still. It's about thirty-six. I think it's about thirty-six miles per hour. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that was the other thing. It's like when um, uh, something else I saw. It's like if you're swimming, uh, a monk swimming with freedom of movement, hasted, and uh, step of the wind, mm -hmm. they are travelling three times faster than a professional swimmer. <laughs> yeah. In re you know, in real life, and you're just like, ah, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, it's that thing, isn't it? Like the the assumption, the, yeah, yeah, the assumption yeah. that, you, that you make always is that a level one character is kind of the equivalent to an Olympic athlete. Ooh, like that's that's geez. like yeah. that's like the power level. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I am level minus ten. In real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That that one so, hit yeah. point. <laughs> that one hit. I think my special. Yeah, I think my character, my class fee is a uh, indigestion. Probably, that's probably all I've got. That's lovely to know. <laughs> oh, yes, but man. you've definitely got the gift of the gab special ability. <laughs> Yes, silver Yeah. And nothing to back it up, so don't try and hit him. <laughs> hey, guys, we finally have a name for our fucking we do. villain. Yeah. yeah. And it's very not... That's what I say. There was a lot of revelation. It's not all, is it? There was, a, there was a lot of stuff in this. Yeah. It definitely sounds like a guy the other Aladrin oh, just a bully. Danny, Danny. Mm. I, Ander has got to say... Hey, Thea Garden, how you doing? And just really fuck him over. Like, proper, like, he'd be like, eh, what? Vicious mockery immediately. Yeah, just like. Thea <laughs> Garden. <laughs> and then, and then like hold. a trigger word for him. Maybe yeah, he just gets stunned when yeah. he then hold, his name. Yeah, then hold, then hold person and just, j we just go what? to town. <laughs> what about if he goes Super Saiyan when we say his name? Oh. Well, then, honestly, a I cannot. New character, I, yeah. I guess. That's what I say. The, 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 I, ju I just, yeah, I, I can. Like, I can Actually, imagine the... Captain Swift crew on the villagers just watching a nuke go off about five hundred feet away. Well, they, they must have heard. Yeah, that's the thing because the I like we thing. don't, we don't know this oh, what guy. Is... Them all first. Mm, also, what, when, what, what uh, did what did we work in, work out what level he could be, and that was back on like episode eight or whatever it was. Was it like level fifteen level. or something? I don't think we figure out level because I think well, it's tricky because if he is what we like, we think he's a warlock, right? So if he is a warlock, it's obviously uh, yeah. hard to it's hard to figure out level because I think. Although I did, I think he did. I did say the. I, I assume he cast blight, and blight is a fourth level spell. Yeah. Um, and it, so yeah. fourth level for warlock means he needs to be level nine at least. But again, 
he's a warlock, so he always gets the highest level, so he can yeah. be whatever. Now we yeah. know his name, though. That does help. Not to bring it back around to my wish spell, but if I did want to cast a wish against him, now I know his name, there's less chance of it backfiring, because if I just made a wish against the Dark Aladrin, there might be 45 of them knocking about somewhere. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And the picks the wrong one, so now I know his name. I could target yeah, him we know those. his name, so like... If, if if we survive next week, it means that we can, you know, we've got something to go from. Like, we can yeah. investigate stuff. Does that allow stuff you to scry him. on him better and stuff like that, maybe? Because you know possibly, that. yeah, possibly. Stronger I know. Oh, very, very surely it's got to give you a bit, a bit more information or a good starter on legend lore. If you can even do it I again. Know, I, don't know, I don't know whether you need to or not. I mean, you may not need to because you know you've yeah. already done it. Yeah, I think, like... Kirik would just assume that what he got is what he would get, regardless of because yeah. legend law works by you thinking of something you're familiar with, and so like he's familiar with that. Yeah. Um, and yeah, and in the legend law, he did see ruins, throne, devils, uh, something else. Which I can't remember. Uh, it was. Oh crap! Uh, I'll find it while we keep talking. Let's find out. Yeah. So. So yes, throne devils corruption, Failiad or Fail Failand or Failiad, Failiad, Failiad and yeah. ruins. Yeah, which is this. So we just need to figure out what the, the king bowl. said, isn't it? The king yeah. confirmed that story. Yeah. So. Yeah, this became the ruins because of him. We don't know what that means, but you know, we can Again, yeah, yeah, it's weird because it's like. I kind of thought that it was going to be that it, it, he, he came from here, it was his home or something like that. I, I, for some reason, I just... I, 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 there is still that possibility. That was his family. That he he, he he gave himself over to the Fiend, right, as you would with a warlock. And, he, you know, the yeah. action was to do this. Uh, it seems unusual why the sword was there. That's another question. Um, but it could also be that he didn't do that. He just came in full force. He has no actual connection to this. But he was still in a ladder and they still knew about it. So it wasn't his family. There's well, two options. Did he break away yeah. from the Wood City to start his own sort of, not cult, but try and break away his own little civilization? Yeah, I, he's not, I he's think. He's not a drow, I, is he? No. I don't think, so. I don't think he's a. He's, a, he's in the ladder, like proper ladder. Yeah. Um, I think. I, yeah, I think. Dave, you might be on onto something. Like this is the place where his like, of him. patron asked him to do something. Yeah, this so, this, like, was, this was his oath. Um, yeah, yeah. And what I'm so, thinking is that then something happened that made the fiend lose the sword, and then there was the magic field that prevent. Yeah, there's like we can theory craft. We can, everything. but again, it is the interesting thing. I mean, I know that I didn't recognize it in the because I rolled super low on my you know whether I saw it in a dream. Did he have this sword during the battle? Um, mm. Oh, oh, Jesus! Go on. Um, <laughs> I love those moments. Oh shit! I figured something out. I, I may not have done right. Uh, Failiad was one of the kingdoms of one of the three brothers. That yeah. ruin mm -hmm. might have been that castle. That's why I asked if I felt like this was the place that belonged to me, because isn't the Failiad King the one I'm actually the descendant of? No, you're the Shiver Spy one, I think. <laughs> we always have this, this question. We always, always go <laughs> round in it's, circles it's on this because one. because I wrote it down wrong first, and I always remember the wrong way I wrote it, not the... Oh, cool. right. Hang on. And now you're just second-guessing yourself which one you think. Right, let's find is. out. Let's find out. Right. Yeah, Shiver Spire, you're right. Shiver Spire, one true son. Yeah, I'll so you got you got King Felian. So Shock. was this was that Reardon? Oh yeah, because the Fey adopted. Was adopted. That's the Fey adopted. Oh. That's Reardon. That was Reardon. Well, because, Matt, because yeah, because Matt did say it was Fey touched, not necessarily a Fey person. That. But he was Elven. But there's no, but there's no stopping him saying he was he adopted an elven kid because he used to seek sanctuary in the Feywild. So there's no stopping him taking an orphan kid back with him. Or, True. 
Yeah. So you got Rachmanos. And I've worn him as a hat. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> Rachmanos, Black City, <laughs> um, part of Hell. Uh, Romado, Shivers by, uh, who was in the realm of the gods, <laughs> the one true son. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> I'm just ima- sorry. I'm just imagining that moment. Like, if it was a film, it would have been like music, like slightly <laughs> rises up as Ander just puts the oh. thing and then looks, yeah, and zooms out and then looks and it's like <laughs> nothing happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just not it is like that moment in Endgame. <laughs> Where Star Lord comes in dancing and singing, looking all cool, and then you got War Machine just turns, so he's an idiot. Bashes him in there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right, Rack Rack Manos, heir by marriage. So Black City, and that's the mm-hmm. realm of hell. Romado, Shiverspire, uh, the realm of the gods, the one true son, and also the uh, ancestor to Ander. Reardon. King Faliad, the realm of the Fae, who was adopted, and he almost definitely in that chair. And, and now on Ander's head. And Romado was killed by Tim Ael, well. right? Reardon was killed presumably by the Fiend. So Rachmanos was the realm of hell. So, what were they in league with what was going on, or also killed in some way by someone else, oh. like the Dark Eladrin? I'm going proper left field now. One of the one of the sons isn't dead; he's just missing. Is the Rachmanos, the king of the Black City, the patron of the Eladrin? I've gone too far. Mu- mu- mutated to a fiend, maybe? It's, it's not. It could a- be corrupted enough. Corrupted enough. I mean, it is the realm of hell. You know, it was it was that of the th- of the three the three realms of magic or whatever you're going to call these. Um, oh, but it is there by marriage, so it could be anything. It, oh, it could it could even be that yes, that actually it was a fiend who some fiends can um, shape change at will, can't they? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So it could have just been a normal looking, you know. We've human. gone too far down the rabbit hole now, haven't we? Oh, obviously. We always do that. That's fine. <laughs> I think that's a sign of a, of a good story, though, because we ain't got a fucking Scooby still. We still haven't got a Scooby. Yeah, mm-hmm. and, I, I, and, and what we've got to do is decide how the hell we. What, what, what the hell we do? Do we fight? Or do we run? I think even when we get all the pieces, I'm still going to go, I don't get it. (laughs) (laughs) Is that Danny or Ander? (laughs) Both, Both, probably. (laughs) Am I king now or what? That'll probably be the answer. And also, (sighs) the the other thing was, was there is a city under Lake Esamir, or Loch Esamir, Lock Esamir. And that could be the original city that did hold the whole of Nylin, and when it was split into three, there were the three other areas which we've been talking about. Excuse me, Black City. Can we agree we're not going to 100% this game? <laughs> uh, well, that's the other <laughs> thing. thing in D&D. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that, oh, exactly, exactly that is like, you know, can you come back and, you know, sort green flower? It's like. Yeah, when the main campaign's over, maybe. <laughs> just go in as like level Kirk 20 went, and just blight the place. <laughs> I love that Kirik basically went, Dark, I'm going to promise you that, but I'm not going to bother. That's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, Which was Kirik, spot on. Kirik's it was been, bloody perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Over the last, over the last like week, everyone's made promises, and Kerry's just like, I just, you know, I just serve a god. I can't really like go around making promises that go against. Like, <laughs> I really have someone I serve. Like, I can't go around and say, yeah, sure, <laughs> we'll definitely do, do this. You think like, now I've, I'm in there with the mother tree. I can speak to her like I speak to the dryad. Try it. Only one way to find out. I was humming and oaring on a prayer to Timiel. I couldn't decide. I'm really glad I did. Well, he said run. I don't think you're going to listen, are you? Well, that's a really interesting question, actually, because, again, over the past, well, the past game, um, past session, 
a lot has been going on in Dargon's mind. A huge amount, right? A lot of game-changing shit for him. And some of it's positive. Some of it is not so positive. And what does he actually feel like is a good thing? You know, is it reckless? Is it, you know, friend just died, therefore just reckless? Or is it a lesson learnt? Um, and I don't want to give that away. As to which one it may be. <laughs> We, we will see what happens next week on that front. Yeah. That sounds like an interesting bit of character development there. Yeah, it's um, it's been very interesting. There was one other thing that I wanted to just sort of RP in today, you know, but again, it didn't quite work because it's still quite early. There's a lot of other people around who aren't very... Um, well, they've been hurt by Vraiko, so it couldn't really be that, you know, there was, there was going to be a heartfelt conversation between all three of us. We were kind of just like... Can we get people home? Can we get the, can we get out of here? Yeah. Then we might be able to actually, you know, pull together again. So that will we come at a later should've. date if we make it. <laughs> we should have. Oh, I feel, I feel bad for the dagger. It's always like he can't mourn because everyone hates the person who's trying to mourn. Yeah, but that's that's interesting, isn't it? That's you know, awesome, though. It's yeah. awesome. It's it's it's, it's how, yeah. how how do you deal with that? How how does your character deal with the fact that you're mourning someone who everyone hates? Um, I'm you assuming know. anger and aggression. Mm. That was going to be my guess. Quite possibly, but can you can can you tell me why Dargon didn't go into the into the city? Yes. No. And 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 that, that <laughs> that's the interesting thing, right? It was just something that t that that twigged during the previous week, not the previous week's episode, but in between in between episodes that I went. Oh, that's an interesting point, and you know, could be prevalent uh, for all, for for you know for this and for a while. And I was like, oh, that's really interesting. So, yeah, you're not going to tell us, are you? Fuck no, no, you're going to have to work it out yourself. Fucking oh. <laughs> <laughs> figure it do, out. Do you know somehow? Am I the only one who doesn't hasn't twigged? No, I don't. I actually don't. Oh, good. I, I thought I thought it was just. Yeah, I thought it was just because doesn't want to show the body which i thought was uh... that's that that's the hide that's the that's Ooh. the that, that's the yeah. that's the hide that's that's what he's telling you why he's not going in uh there is you a completely different reason last week and it brought back some memories and some shit didn't it uh, very true yes it did um it's it uh, i'll give you that one for free it's not that um oh. but it is that's something name, that John. we discussed sort of a while back and something I haven't necessarily taken on board, which is my bad. You know, kind of sort of. Um, so yeah, that's all you're gonna get. Well, what I might do is pick two instinctive reflex reactions that Ander might do, flip a coin, and then see which one I land on. That's the one he'll do next week. I love that roll percentile dice. Fifty yeah. over above does this. I I, 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 th I think I think I mean I, I'm gonna sit on it for a couple of days and think think exactly what Dogon would do, but I may do it the same thing. <laughs> I've done that in game before. You guys have asked me what happened, and I've just gone, "Fuck it, what does happen?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that yeah. happens. It's definitely, yeah. A, definitely a thing. It's interesting. It keeps things a little bit fresher in some some instances. Yeah. It's it's pretty cool mechanic doing it. Right. Yeah. That was one hell of an episode, Matt. Mm. No, no, I thank you guys. That was all down to you, to be fair. But, I'm, uh, I'm looking forward. I'm looking forward to my week of looking at my spells and thinking what to do now. Because <laughs> <laughs> we haven't got a long rest. Nope. Thank God we fitted the shield. Also, not got Bothrid. No, nope. we don't have Bothrid. Oh, we, sure, we don't have the tank. You have the tank. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what would have been really helpful. I have a tank. A tank. Karstan, Gore, Geo, Captain Swift, Hedam. They're not Offrey, fucking coming to help. Grilling. They are not coming to help. There's no, no fucking way. Oh, I mean, we could have took him on a little also, bit. Also, we're, 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 we're probably higher level than we're probably higher level than they are at this point. Yeah, if you if you remember, I think we <clears> worked out the, the tur turtle boy on the uh, on the <laughs> ship who got hit by his own lightning. Essentially, he tried to calm the th calm the storm. We, <clears throat> I think we worked out it was like level seven, <coughs> or you told us. I can't remember. Yeah, but yeah. 
Operation Get Behind the Turtle. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, so um, no, I, th- I think I think to be fair, this is this is just going to be what the hell happens next week, and we're just going to find out. Mm-hmm. So. On that note, I would say that it is uh, time to uh, to call it because uh, we might as well leave some something for next week. Thank you very much for tuning in on this lovely Wednesday night. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed our uh, our chats and ramblings about uh, what we are going to be. Uh, you know, planning and trying to do next week. Uh, thanks ever so much for, for tuning in to our main sessions as well as this. Uh, please do feel, follow us, leave a like, subscribe, follow us on uh, social media, whatever you like to do. We love you for watching. Thank you ever so much indeed and have a good evening. <laughs>